Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What Sold video for you today. It is Thursday, July 15th, and we're going to follow Kathy around to see what sold for us today. And I think today was a pretty good day for us, so I'll let Kathy take it away. Yeah, it was a good day. And as always, I, I'm i prepared. I just <laughs> I always forget I want to talk about what's here first. So Some other things that we've been procrastinating and getting put away. Yeah. Seems to be the usual nowadays. <laughs> At least until summer is over and the kids are in <laughs> school, we'll be able to get things more organized. <laughs> um, so my first sale was just this little uh, mini boat and dog pirate shirt. So this was actually my son's, both of them have worn it. At this point, I actually bought it off Poshmark. I think even I bought it from Nicole State actually. Oh. A year or two ago, maybe. Um, and yeah like i said they both wore it and then i just listed it on kittizen last night it sold within like an hour for 25 dollars free ship when i bought it from her i bought this and a pair of the native shoes for like 23 dollars. so after the poshmark shipping i had about 15 dollars into each piece so i actually made two or three dollars profit after both my kids have worn it so thought that was cool and then this something else so i'm sure y'all remember that when i went to the bins with amber and greg Amber Resales and Greg Rocky Mountain Resale. Resale, yep. Yeah, that was like mid-May. So two months ago, I've had the bin just under our table here for yeah. two months. I never even typed it into my inventory or anything. Finally did that a couple days ago, pulled these out, got them listed. They sold the first day that they were listed. <laughs> I didn't even put the measurements yet because like I typed all like my template of measurements, you know, like waistline, flat, etc. but I didn't get around to actually measuring them, but they sold while I was asleep. Thank you, Posture VA, because I listed them for 35. Somebody liked it in the night. They got the offer of 20% off, so $28 with discount shipping is what I got on these Abercrombie denim cutoff wow. shirts. So yeah, that was really good. Honestly, the yeah. counts on those were only like, mostly 15 to 20, but I was like, oh, these are, this is nice. They have the button fly. They're really distressed, and they honestly were just in really good shape. So I went high and it worked out that surprises me for abercrombie yeah, shorts I, so that's pretty cool i think cool. like just really distressed denim like this yeah i don't even think the brand matters so much um you could go find a pair of old nasty jeans cut them up like this and still sell them for 30 bucks so yeah, yeah. but yeah i only had about a buck into those maybe a dollar 50 or so because they were from the bins um but my whole bins haul that day with them was only like 60 bucks so I did sell the Mike Wazowski mug a while back because right. that was just one thing I had pulled out from it. But otherwise, so just the mug and that pretty much paid for my whole haul. All right, and then this is going out to our viewer, Christina. She is too good to me. She always <laughs> just buys the full price. I don't know why. You can make an <laughs> offer. Um, but yeah, I woke up to this sale as well. So Christina, thank you. She grabbed these Gap shorts that I just listed last night as well. And then she also grabbed a really awesome this is a vintage disney store t-shirt and it is like single stitch and everything but it's like kid size so it's really cool i bought this for my son off kid is in but it was going to be a couple of years till it fit him and so i just relisted it um i have ten dollars into that ten dollars into the short she bought them from me for 34 dollars. so christina thank you again yeah. for your continued support absolutely thank you so much for all yeah. your support christina <laughs> all right and then it's funny it's to the point where kathy's like oh christina bought something <laughs> else from us and we know who we're talking about so yeah it made me think of um well i don't know if she liked the items i didn't even look back but because of posture va now like i'm sure you guys that are watching sometimes might go to our store mm -hmm. like a bunch of stuff and then like wonder why did she send me all these offers instead of like bundling it but yeah if you guys get that it's because it's posture va i not even sending offers on my own anymore so. yeah we just have it automatically set yeah. i think it's only when our computer's on so you yeah it does sometimes you may or may that. not receive an, an offer but if you do it's it's yeah, it should VA. be within five minutes if not it will be when our yeah. computer restarts up so we do have a Chromebook that we're trying to, I have to find the charger, but we're gonna have that thing running 24 seven and having scheduled sharing and offers running all the time. So that's what we plan on doing. We just haven't had the chance to yeah. as of late. Like so. everything else in our life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all 
Uh, so I sold another one of these polo golf shirts. Um, this one, another Posture VA. I listed them at 50. It sent an offer of 40 discount ship. Somebody countered me at 35, which um, when somebody counters your discounted shipping, they end up paying full shipping. So like 40 with discounted shipping would have put them at about 38. So really they got another three bucks off, which it's not that much to me. I'm like happy right. to accept that. So. Yeah, $35, I have about $10 and change into it, so good little sale. Let's hold a pair of shoes off this rack. All right, and actually I wanted to mention that I just covered it up. <laughs> My shipping hit mailers came in yesterday, so I just wanted to show y'all really fast, <laughs> I forgot. But. I put some in our drawers, but these will be our extras. I got a couple packs of each. I really like these ones. They just say make a make today a good day. Um, yeah, so most of their designs are like in collaboration with another like a designer because right. they get An the artist. mailers printed, yeah. but they don't do the actual artwork. So these ones look like Maddie Green designs. So oh, okay, so they put cool. the artist on the bag. Yeah, and then these ones are E B and shipping. These ones I'm gonna probably mostly use starting like in August, just cause I feel like they're fallish, fall, like the yeah. rust color. And then I got some really, some bigger size ones. These are like, those are monsters. I do feel like these are summer prints, but I feel like these will do well in the winter because I'm gonna be selling more like puffier jackets, right? fleeces and things like that. So yeah, they have bigger sizes. They even have, I think bubble mailers and like six by nine tiny mailers. So. If you sell jewelry or something like that, they have tiny ones as well. Anyhow, we have a link below <laughs> for those, all of those. So I bought those on pre-order. They just got here a couple days ago, but now they're listed as ready to ship. So if you want any of those prints, you can just buy them without waiting. And like Kathy said, there is a link down in our description. Yeah. And code is ginger15, 15% 15, 15 off, and they always ship off. for free. So. So go get your pretty mailers. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then back to the sales. These are some New Balance men's like walking shoes. They're in really, really good shape. Um, I got these at Goodwill. My average cost of goods this day was $5.69. That's what I have into them. Somebody bought these full price on Poshmark for $79. So really, really, really good sale. Um, because they bought them full price and just like an hour ago, I won't be able to drop them off today. So I'll get them boxed up and drop them probably in the morning. Yeah. AJ. Then I sold these fit flops. I actually sold these before and the buyer on eBay never paid. So they got relisted, sold again. The circle of life. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't stress too much over non-payments. I just relist it and they always resell. So these sold, so I don't remember what they were listed. I think 30 plus ship. We had a sale running, which brought them down to maybe like 25, 26. Plus ship, but this buyer asked if I do 22 plus ship, and I said, Yeah, I think she wanted to be just under 30 or right at 30, which is about what she paid with everything. Um, and I said, Yeah, because I only had paid $2.99 for those, so basically three dollars into 22 plus shipping. I'm happy with that. And then AE, are you happy with that, Misi? <laughs> we just caught him sleeping on the couch like a was like crazy <laughs> we'll put the photo here he was so cute <laughs> um so these ones this isn't the best sale but i always grab slide candles because they're just constant easy sellers these i did pay 7.99 for that's kind of a lot i like to be under like five maybe 5.99 on slides because they usually sell 20 to 25 but they are pretty much always first class shipping so these ones sold for 22.70 free shipping i like I said, I paid $7.99 for them. Shipping cost $4.38, so I about just doubled my money, which if somebody asked you, hey, would you like <laughs> to spend 10 minutes and we'll give you $8, I'd probably say yes. So that's how I like to look at stuff like that. Yeah. 10 minutes as in, that's pretty much what it took me to list those. That's so easy. I like to look at it as shipping in, is like a minute as in the stock market you know takes how long does it take you to double your money in the stock market a long time <laughs> so Unless this you is get lucky <laughs> this is a very good uh yeah side gig if you're just looking for i extra made my money. own luck i know that those are gonna <laughs> sell <laughs> so these are those cool like movies or however you say that shoes so actually when i was looking these up to list them it seemed like they were a shark tank product like oh a, okay 
something that featured got featured on Shark Tank, which is cool because we love watching that show. So yeah, they sold for $45.45 plus shipping. I only had $5.69 into them. So really good sale again. Another really good sale, although the profit's lower because uh, this is that jacket that I bought for Chris that he did not like because it made him too hot, you know, because <laughs> that's what a jacket is supposed to do. <laughs> But anyways, I um, wear sweaters in the winter, yeah. right? <laughs> you don't even. You would just wear t-shirts yeah. all the time. <laughs> this is just a marmot, marmot, marmot jacket. Um, it is Gore-Tex, so the retail price on it was two fifty. I obviously knew I wasn't gonna get anywhere close to that. But again, I really just bought this for him for um, to wear, but he didn't want it, so. I bought this at Play-Doh's, it was $40. And then I didn't realize when I bought it, the zipper was broken or something. So we actually had to buy some zippers off Amazon to fix it, which those were like, what, six, seven bucks? Yeah, something like so that. I think I added that to the total. So my total now on this jacket with tax and everything was $48.71. So um, probably wouldn't have bought that just to flip it. Although I basically almost doubled my money still. So maybe I should start yeah. like thinking about doing more of that. Anyways, I, it sold for $100.05 plus shipping. So after fees and everything, I'm almost doubling my money. Yeah. And that's pretty and good. I mean, it's the middle of summer. I mean, yeah. it did take quite a while because I had to fix the zipper. Yeah. Um, the, I, the first zipper pieces that I bought didn't work, so I had to return them and all that. So it was a long process, but mm -hmm. now we have. That's a nice, yeah. Now we problem. have more zippers if we have this problem <laughs> down the line. And that's true. yeah, so. Obviously, I can't pay forty dollars for every item, at least yet in our business. Right. But I can probably do a few here. Maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> Build up to that. <laughs> All right, BR. Where are you at? Backwards. Boop. You passed it. So these actually got an offer yesterday, and I was all devastated because she, the payment declined. Not declined. I don't know. Payment issue. Whatever you want to say about that. I don't really think it's the client. I think half the time they had a pending balance and maybe bought something else. And then by the time you accept their offer, their pending balance is gone. Yeah. Who knows? But anyways, she, I had these listed at 45. She offered me 40, so super reasonable offer, but the payment had an issue. Then I woke up this morning. Um, she must have fixed the issue. So yay. Yeah. <laughs> I had 6.99 into them. They're just bionic flip-flops. So flip-flops that sold for $40 plus they paid post shipping and taxes. So like $50. Crazy. I love bionics. Yeah. All right. Got last of these. I think I bought five of these. So this, this one took a while to sell. <laughs> um, like over a year. <laughs> Boxes, it's all dusty. dusty. <laughs> yeah, so these are just some um, Sam Edelman Circus. They're just slide sandals that say Queen Bee on them. Well, the other one says Queen, I think. Anyway, these I actually got on Amazon. They had them marked down to $5, so I bought several boxes. It wasn't the best, but they I made money on them all. This one, someone offered me 20 I had them listed at 25 so I made an $11 profit. It's pretty good. It got delivered to my house. Some Amazon I arbitrage. Did one, yeah. yeah, I did one listing for what five. So. So that was the last one. Yep. I mean, it took over a year for them all to sell, but I yeah. invested what twenty five bucks in. Probably after one sold, I at least had that back. All right. We had a pair of Allbirds. So. I still don't know what's up with Allbirds and eBay. It seemed like they were saying no, we're not borrowing anything. So, I don't know. I'm still not gonna probably post them there. Unless I hear from a whole bunch of other people that there's no issues because right. I think we've had two bureaus at this point of just randomness and I think when you get your third one they literally shut down your account for like a week so I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. These ones were on Poshmark. I think they were listed at 70 something. Posh VA sent the 20% offer which brought it down to like 60. This person countered me at 50 which I was happy to take. I paid $7.99 for these so another really good one. Page. Another Pasha VA sale. <laughs> I could get used to that every day. Um, so these are the brand Palladium. These are a uh, youth size, and I didn't know if these were boys or girls. Obviously, they're unisex in my opinion, but a lot of the platforms like Poshmark make you choose one of those. Like on Kittizen, you can put, you know, both 
but on Posh, you have to put it in the girl section or the boy section, and depending on who's looking, they might not ever see them, you know what I mean? Yeah. So these took forever to sell, but they did sell for $26 with discount shipping. That was an offer that the Pasha VA sent out. And I got them for $4.50 at Once Upon a Child. So it was an okay little sale after all, but I wish it was faster. And I just sold these. These took longer than I expected to sell, but it was worth the wait. Um, these are just some Ariat boots. And all of our other ones sold like right away like within the first week these have been listed a couple months at least uh they sold on facebook marketplace for 70 plus shipping i paid oh. 16.99 for those at goodwill very nice yeah. especially with that low five percent fee on facebook yeah yep it was a really good one. all right by okay These are some round tree in York men's cargo pants. I got these at our new thrift store in town for $1.99. Sold them for $13 plus shipping on Facebook. And then last but not least, DG, if I can get there. Uh oh, am I gonna make the whole thing fall? All right. So these are some silver crocs. Um, I have $4.99 into these, sold them for $18.15, plus shipping on eBay. So yeah, it was a really good day. All right, we're gonna work on getting the stuff all packed up and we'll be right back. All right, got everything all packed up. Actually, we did not pack up those yet <laughs> because out of time. <laughs> it is 10 minutes till our post office closes <laughs> and that's gonna do it for this one. I will answer this. We have had a few questions as to why we take our packages to a post office rather than having a postman come and pick them up. Um, trust issues. Trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> we live very close to our post office. It's less than two minutes drive, less than a mile away. It's actually on the way to our kids' school. So when they're back in school, it's just going to be part of the routine. And, you know, during the whole COVID um, USPS delays and stuff, I'm sure many of you remember that. If you didn't get something scanned and it got lost or put in one of their just, you know, their hubs for weeks, which some of our stuff did, and you didn't have that origination scan, you know, you would kind of, we had to refund at least a couple, three, yeah. two or three uh, orders because they didn't get to them on time. They still got it eventually <laughs> and they got the money back. So that's why we do it. It's not really not that much of a problem for us because it's so close and we do um, you know, the, the ladies that work there know us and it's just, it works out for us so that we go every day. So anyway, we're going to get these ones off to the post office so that they can be scanned. And that is going to do it for today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye.